Hey, so here's a fast-ish tutorial on how you can make an atomic breath. So delete the default cube, add a cylinder, rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis, tab into edit mode, and then just move it on the y-axis a bit forward. Select the faces, delete them. Then if you press 1, Alt Z, so that you can select every face. Well, not every face, just every face on this side. You can press G, Y, Control, so that you can just extend it out a bit. Select everything again, and now press S to scale, but then Shift Z, Z. So that you can scale it on every axis, except the Z axis. Then what we can do is we can just select these back faces, uh, vertices, scale them in. These front ones, scale them up. But then you'll see it looks really low poly, so you can just right click the shade smooth. There we go. Now, if we go to the shader, so we're in Eevee, so make sure you turn on Bloom, go to the viewport shading, add a new material, delete the BSDF, and add an emission shader. Plug that in, set it to blue. Here's the hex code if you want. Set it to a hundred. And now we have a nice glow. But we're not done. So now, for this next part, we're gonna need to press N if you haven't. Go to option, blend mode, set it to clip, shadow, set it to none. Add a transparent BSDF and a mix shader so that we can connect these two. So the emission goes into the top the transparent goes into the bottom, and it's just going to disappear, but it's fine. Because now we can add a noise texture. And we're going to plug the factor into the factor of the mix shader, and it's back. So now, if you press Ctrl T with the Node Wrangler add-on, which you can turn on in Edit Preferences, Node Wrangler, you'll get these two nodes, which we'll use in a bit. So if you come to the noise texture, set this to 10, or just scale it up. Set the detail to something like 5. And I usually put the roughness at 0.8, because it looks pretty nice. So now if you come to the mapping node, go to scale. On the x-axis, just pull it down slightly. And if you hold shift, you can actually do it in smaller increments. So 0.19 looks good. And that already looks pretty decent, but if we add a color ramp, put it in between the noise and mix shader, and just pull this these values in. It just ups the contrast, and it makes it look a lot better. But now it kind of just looks empty, so what we can do is we select our cylinder, Shift D to duplicate, right click to set it back, and then if we go into edit mode and select every face again, and S, Shift Z, Z, and we can just shrink it a little bit. Now, if we click on this little 2 to create a duplicate of this material, delete everything except the emission shader, connect the emission shader back in, and there we go. But we can make this look even better. So now we're going to click back on the outer um, atomic breath, come over to the mapping, and if you mess with the Z location, you'll see it's actually moving. So make sure you're on the first frames or frame zero. We're gonna left click and then type in hashtag minus frame divided by 50. And so what we're doing now is if we press play, every, fr every single frame, it's going to move this value by a 50th of a frame. And so now without having to animate anything, it's moving. Now what we can do is you'll notice if we try to rotate this, it just won't work. So we're gonna select the inside, shift click the outside, control P, and then parent. And now we can move it all together, we can scale it all together. And finally, what we can do is, say you happen to have a Godzilla model. Look at this little guy. Although he's a bit too small, so now what we can do is just 
select the atomic breath, scale it in until it looks right, just don't move it, just leave it there. Now we're going to click on your rig, go into pose mode and just check what the name of the bone that controls the head is. So in my case it's just head M. Go back into object mode, select the uh, cylinder, object constraints, child of, select your rig and look for the head and there we go. Now we just have to rotate it the right way, place it where we want and there we go. Because now if we select the rig and try and move it, it'll all move together. Hope this was helpful.